I'm saying that if you believe in elves, then it's not that big of a stretch to believe in aliens, okay? Did we cover the Mexican aliens? No, because they're so stupid, dude. That story is so dumb. From what I understand, I read a little bit more into it, and it's like some old Mexican dude who, like, has been lying about it for years, and for some reason, they decided to, like, bring the same fucking guy to the to the forefront and make it seem like what he has to say is, like, a real whistleblower instead of, like, a 30-year-old psycho. Like, a psycho that's been doing this for 30 years. I mean, let me tell you something, okay? You want to know why I know it was bullshit? Because the way they picked up the fucking alien and put it down. Okay, where's the video? Oh, dude, I posted this on my... Wait a minute, what the fuck? I literally posted this on my Instagram. I don't know how the fuck Brace found it. I don't know, because I don't even know where I found it originally. But anyway, I think I found it because like some dumbass Republican was posting this. Like, I, I think I found this. The tweet about the alien sums it up perfectly. The Mexican alien is actually just the cake. You won't eat that. Um, you know, you, you want to know... Okay, okay. Someone show me the link of them putting the alien down, okay? Does anyone have the link of that video? That's all you need to see to immediately know that it's bullshit, okay? If that's a fucking real alien, nobody's picking it up with gloves and putting it down like that. Okay, where the fuck is the... Come on, come on. One of you guys knows the alien video. You've seen it. Where is it? Not that you asked, but here's Charlie's video on it with the actual debunking. What an incredible day for father-son bonding between me and my dad. With all of the alien information that's come to light today with the Mexican Congress broadcasting some alien corpses, supposedly, my dad and I have been going back and forth spitballing, and I have been doing a deep dive into the most rancid underbelly the internet has to offer when it comes to alien information. Sometimes when you stare too long into the abyss, the abyss stares back into you. I'll tell you what, sports fans. If there are aliens out there, I'm on their watch list for how deep I've gone. I'm on their ass like a hemorrhoid right now. I'm having a close encounter with a third kind. You might see my eyes roll. This is all you need to know. That's it. It's done. It's done. That's all you need to know. Once I saw that, once I saw someone pick up the fucking thing and place it gently like that, I was like, oh, that's not real. No. No. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to believe. I saw that. I saw this fucking thing and I was like, oh, no. Okay, this is fake. No shot. Okay? No fucking shot. No way. No how. Y cuerpo completo de las momias de NASA. Y sí se alcanza a ver. Ahorita les muestro una fotografía de esa. Y la placa ya la ven en el pecho. Y aquí pueden ver un anillo. Damn, he's got a long ass dick. Ya ven el anillo en, el, en la falange. First of all, why are they touching it? Like, if that's real, why the fuck are they touching it? Okay, this is what I mean. Oh, this was a married alien, okay? Odencia publica en el Congreso de México para regular el fenómeno anómalo no identificado en vivo. <laughs> when did Hassan learn Spanish? When I went to Mexico. Back into my skull and had me levitating out of the chair here in a moment. Point is, I have found some very intriguing information in regards to these alien bodies. But let me bring you up to speed, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. I posted a video earlier today going over the whole situation, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen it by now, but I'm just going to give you the cliff notes, bring you up to speed on the lore with what's going on. Last night, an individual named Jaime Musan had brought some supposed alien bodies into Mexican Congress, and this was broadcast to the entire world. He was making claims that these are authentic extraterrestrials and he had a ton of tests to prove it. All the tests and all the information is public and he invited anyone else in the world to come into the Thunderdome and analyze the alien bodies to confirm and verify that these are the real deal. Unfortunately, these aliens don't have three massive honkers. They're not goth, big-titted alien babes. They are little goofballs. These tiny little goobers are being shown in Congress and he's bringing up a ton of pictures as well as data 
in saying that they were found at the Nazca Lines. They're about a thousand years old, and they are actual aliens. Now, a little background on Jaime Musan. He is a UFOologist and a journalist. His main profession is journalism. And this is not the first time he's done this. He also had another mummified remain that he called an alien back in 2017. It was debunked. And this one here is taking the world by storm because a lot of people believe the Mexican government is the ones revealing this. They're breaking the magician's code and they're showcasing real aliens. When that's not the real story here. It is Jaime Musan and his team that's presenting this. It's not the Mexican government. It's, it's become widespread confusion. Basically, they platformed him and he presented. Not an official endorsement from the Mexican government, at least not as far as I understand here. So, now that you're brought up to speed, what have I found? What new information okay, wait, could have possibly on. come to light in only 12 hours? Well... This is going to open put it your past third eye here. Get ready to activate your Sharingan. Cause Can we put it past Amlo, though, to, like, actually fucking support this? Because, like, he does believe in, what is it, duendes? Like, Amlo is literally a fucking guy who unironically believes elves. The truth's coming in hot. It turns out these alien bodies aren't new. In fact, these were debunked in 2021. There's a really great YouTube video that goes over exactly what these are. And... According to this, they're not aliens. Now, before getting into the video, I know a lot of you are going to say, well, what about all of the tests? And those haven't been, you know, confirmed as faked or fraudulent or anything like that. So again, if the rest of the world truly does have access to this information and are, are invited out to actually study these mummified remains and conclude that they are real and authentic, that'd be amazing. Nobody wants them to be real aliens more than me and my dad. But it's just hard to really believe that because there are so many things working against it. I've seen a lot of cope from the community about why they look so wow. stereotypically alien. Wow, like wow, wow, wow. Picture. Typical fucking hater, dude. Typical. This is what I hear so much from the non-believers, okay? I call them non-believers because they don't believe that aliens are real. They always say, oh, I'd be the first guy to champion, like, uh, aliens if they were real. Charlie's in on it, folks. That's right. Charlie is in on it. I'm sorry to report. White people molding Mexicans found it first. Exactly. Or, as I like to say, exacto mundo. Which I don't even know if it's Spanish or not, but it sounds Spanish, so. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Fictions. And what they keep defaulting to is saying that people that worked on the movie sets modeled their alien design after real alien encounters and paintings Exactamente. Back in the day where they'd actually seen aliens like at fucking Area 51 or something so they made the costumes and, and the effects to look like that so it'd be warming us up to what real aliens look like and to me that's just a load of baloney we're teetering on tumblr fanfic with that reach i i would like to ask you what's more likely that or that whoever had these mummified remains modeled them after our perception of aliens from movies. It becomes even more likely that that's the case when you consider where it comes from. The source here, Jaime Musan, whom is regarded by some as a hoaxer, who has had similar things in the past be whoa, proven... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, because he's Mexican? I got it, dude. Hey, that's fucked up. Completely wrong. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, fucking please stop fooling me. You're making me feel dumb. It's... You know, again, nothing's been 100% confirmed here, but I would just like to present to you the evidence here. Yeah, Jaime Hassan, you know what I mean? From 2021 with these bodies that suggest it's not actually alien remains. Now let's study the x-rays of the small mummies. Ufologists go as far as calling them humanoid reptiles. So what do we see? Same stuff. A hodgepodge of human and animal bones. Hassans are on the come up in Mexico. There's a... Did you guys know that, like, one of the most famous Mexican uh, guys who also has, like, a narco corrido, is, his name is Hassan, literally. The one that, uh, what's the name of the dude? The one that has, like, uh, the Lady Gaga song, Peso Pluma. Yeah. Yeah, his, his actual, like, government name is Hassan. Hassan! Actually, straight up. The channel is called Scientists Against Myths, and they tackled this alien mummified remain phenomenon all the way back in 2021. They even use some of the same pictures that were presented to Mexican Congress last night. So I do believe these are the same mummified remains. I don't think there's any wiggle room to make a real argument that 
what's being analyzed by this channel is different than what was presented last night. I think it's pretty clear that these are the same. Here's a mommy named Josephine. A real beauty. Instead of humor eyes, she sports femurs or thigh bones. Her legs are even more baffling. Immediately the question needs to be asked, if this is a real extraterrestrial body, why does it have the same bones us cringe-ass humans have? What are the odds that these aliens would evolve down a similar path we did and have the same bones we did, just in a different order and arrangement? That seems highly unlikely, but let's go ahead and paddle around in the kiddie pool of fantasy and assume that all intelligent life in the universe evolves down similar paths, so every single fucking life form out there in the cosmos has all of the exact same bones we do. Well, in that case, this species got fucked hard in the ass by evolution, because with the way these bones are arranged, it wouldn't even be able to move. They need some kind of evolution patched DLC update here, like a, a hot fix, because these aliens wouldn't be able to even take a single step. One of the thigh bones is actually a femur, only facing the wrong way around, while the other one is a tibia. And they are completely mismatched with the hip bone. Oh my god, are you fucking joking? This guy just like put a bunch of bones together and was like, look at these aliens, really? There's no joint there at all. The poor humanoid wouldn't have made a single step. Some of the bones are simply chopped off. So even if you go ahead and write off the coincidence that the aliens have the same bones we do, how could you possibly write off that the way their structure is set up would mean they can't move? Evolution doesn't really work that way. It wouldn't have made it this far if that were the case. And it's getting me gassy, so I'm... I'm just ripping mean ass right now. All of this alien stuff has just been so fascinating. And this video says that some of the bones were just chopped off, like kind of just chopped willy-nilly. That wouldn't really happen naturally at all. It suggests that they were made like this with just an absolute fucking mishmash of different bones going in different places in order to look alien-like. Note this asymmetry here. The fingers are a total mess, too. The first pseudophalanges are facing in different directions on her left and right hands, with the white part facing up or down. Well, they just forgot to turn them the right way. Stuff happens. That's pretty damning. Some of the bones are just facing the wrong way because whoops-a-daisy. And like I mentioned, some of these photos that are in this video from two years ago were the same ones that were presented last night. Most notably, the alien with the, the three eggs in their tummy. The, the pregnant alien carrying the triplets. That is in this video. That same x-ray photo was presented last night. So I think we can say with a high level of confidence that all of the information presented for these corpses two years ago applies to the corpses shown last night. They are the same. And if that is the case, then a very interesting component of these remains is actually the skull. French paleontologist Julien Benoit thinks that those who crafted the small humanoid mummies used skulls of some small mammals for their heads, such as a llama or alpaca. Comparison shows that the reptiloid's cranial cavity fits perfectly the cranial cavity of a llama. The skull was then rotated so its back part faces forward. The reptiloid's face is actually the back of the poor llama's head. I trim this up just a little bit to keep it brief, but they make an extremely strong argument for why this alien skull is actually that of a llama skull. The bulbs, the brain hemisphere, all of it matches up perfectly with a llama skull. The only thing is they cut out and rotated it. And the question then becomes, well, where would they get a llama skull? And the video answers that too. According to one of the historians, back a long time ago, there was actually burials for llamas in the area where these mummified remains were found. So they would have had easy access and readily available llama skulls th at the site. Where could the mummy forges have gotten a llama skull? Historian Yuri Bereskin has told me that pre-Columbian peoples of Peru often made llama burials. Here's a fresh report about finding buried llama mummies in Peru. Overall, I think this video makes an extremely compelling case. At least he didn't fucking get like a human. At least he didn't like dig up human bones, right? For these being forgeries, not actually alien mummified remains or anything. Now, I have seen that the newest presentation here has the bones in the correct alignment in terms of like the ones that were backwards here in the video. 
apparently what might have happened is they recognized the error first off and then just rotated the bones properly. Though it still doesn't fix the underlying issue of why the fuck would an alien have all of the same bones we have. It, like, there is still just no good explanation for that other than it just being completely fraudulent, really, and that this isn't a real alien remain. But, like I said, I would love for this to be the real deal, completely legitimate. And hopefully soon, scientists from around the world will actually go investigate, either confirm or deny the findings, and conclude once and for all if these are real aliens, or if it truly is just a complete forgery here of some mummified remains. If it is just a bunch of bones from a bunch of different things thrown together into this, this creature here. So, I guess we'll see. I just wanted to show this to you because I found it to be extremely interesting. And, uh, yeah, that's really about it. See ya. Jamie, Jaime Mausan is a fraud. Everyone here in Mexico knows it. He's kind of a meme. The Congress was laughing at his ass uh, when he presented this shit. I think, am I crazy or does AMLO actually support this guy? Because I could totally see AMLO supporting this guy. Now that I know everything I need to know about his support for You're Crazy, bro, he believes in, like, wood elves and shit. Why wouldn't he believe in this? I'm a little more of a wood elf guy. If he believes, listen, brother, if he believes in wood elves, why doesn't he believe in this? He did present a mummified dummy as an alien back in 2015, so he has dug up human bones. Oh, God, that's gross. I mean, I believe it, too. I mean, I've covered the elves thing before. Mexican president posts photos of what he claims uh, is a Maya elf. Les comparto dos fotos de nuestra supervisión a las obras del tren Maya. Una tomada por un ingen ingeniero. Hace tres días, al parecer de un aluje. Otra de Diego P Prieto de una esplendida escultura prehispánica en, em en Ec Balam. Todo es místico. Gringo Spanish. It's important for local Mayan populations. Everyone in Latino America believes in duendes. I'm moderately reasonable and I'm still terrified of forests. He's up on the AMLO slander. It's flexing in Independence Day almost and he's building trains. I respect that. But I also respect this. Like, I don't think you understand. This is a Hassan Glazing comment, so read if you want. Just catching up on the Taiwan convo you, you had and your foreign policy is the number one way to determine your integrity and you pass with flying colors over time. Genuinely massive respect. Thanks, man. But the real reason why I pass with flying colors is this, dude. Mortal Kombat 1 story mode. Hashtag not an ad. Hashtag let's go. It's, it's hard to explain, but people, elves, and aliens is different. I'm saying that if you believe in fucking elves, then it's not that big of a stretch to believe in fucking a uh, aliens, okay? Which I think is a relatively reasonable position.